It's your boy Antoine Boss here, and I got another Madden 25 footage for you guys. This is the Super Bowl rematch Baltimore Ravens against the 49ers. Baltimore, a working class city looking for its heroes to be more. It's the toughness of Johnny Yu and the unbreakable heart of Ray Lewis. In Baltimore, even the band won't surrender. These are the Ravens. In San Francisco, gold is more than a color. It's a standard. It's the brilliant chemistry of Walsh and Montana. To Steve Young ripping the monkey off his back. To chase Jerry up that hill. These are the 49ers. Bill, you played in this game. You know what it's like. And we're just a few minutes away from getting it started. Kickoff at the Super Bowl. What are you thinking? Well, it's so exciting. And I will tell you, this is the one time where nerves can really affect the play of the players in a game because it is so big, it is so different that you've got to make sure you settle down and just concentrate on the next play. Game. And guys, we've seen the nail biting. You can literally feel the nerves down here. But both teams believe that once we just get going, the butter. You guys saw the introductions. And uh, as we get into the first possession right here for the 49ers, uh, I want to give you guys a background of what the difficulty is on and all that just before we get into the gameplay. Uh, even though we're already into the gameplay. Uh, I'm playing on all pro five minute quarters. Uh, most of the passing plays, rushing plays, most of the plays that I picked in this game as I'm facing off against the 49ers. I try to do a sort of a same style, uh, realistic, nothing too fancy. I don't want to, you know, throw deep passes every single play. So just keep that in mind. This is on all pro. And here in our possession right here, you see Alden Smith getting this sack. And look at him throwing up the ball inside celebration. And that was not a good possession by us. So Colin Kaepernick takes over once again here. And on that scramble, he gets popped. Second and six now. Anquan Bolden is right there on the money. Gets that reception. And they are now in our territory. Colin Kaepernick going deep. What will happen here? The receiver was left wide open as he beat the corner but he did not get two feet down so here comes frank gore now making up for his wide receivers mistake a huge rushing play as they get the first touchdown of the game so you guys know me i have to answer right here look at joe flacco to dennis pitta wide open you cannot leave that tight end that open and now Ray Rice gets in on the action, but he has nowhere to go on the play, and now it is second and eight. Oh, oh, look at Torrey Smith. He was right on the money. Second and ten now. Look at that nice pass. I thought for sure the defensive line was going to try to get up there and get that interception, but a beautiful, accurate pass by Joe Flacco. Now Ray Rice takes it at the goal line and Pierce comes into the game and uh, taps this one in for an easy touchdown. So just like that, we are headed into the locker rooms. That is the first half for you. After this, which is brought to you by Verizon. 
The first half ends with the score of 7-7. Seven seven. And we start off the second half now. As Jacoby Jones is going to take this one. Nowhere to go. So here comes Joe Flacco. We're going to go back to Ray Rice. What will he do here? Juke move. It does not work. Second and three now. Uh-oh. I thought the game was going to freeze right there. But Dennis Pitta is right there once again. And he's... Although he doesn't have that many reception, he for sure has made a huge impact on this game. But look at Torrey Smith right here. Gets a nice reception, but he gets hurt. And as soon as he got hurt, Joe Flacco throws an interception. That was definitely my fault. I don't know why I got rid of it, but mistakes happen. And uh, let's hope our defense steps up, but that is not going to help right there. Look at Vernon Davis left wide open, and now he goes down with an injury. And look at the 49ers right here at the one-yard line, Frank Gore. That is just as easy as one, two, three. Another touchdown for them, and they're just making it look too easy. My defense does not have an answer for them. So Dennis Pitta, once again, like I said, he's had a huge impact. And with the score being 14-7, uh, late in the third quarter, I would say, we need this one right here. There's no way we're going to go into the fourth quarter being down. And a look at these passes by Joe Flacco. Doesn't get any more accurate than that. And right here on the slam play, Jacoby Jones with the diving catch. I love that animation right there and the touchdown celebration to follow that one. And starting off the fourth quarter, we get the ball with the score tied up. So finally, we are now down in this game. And that kind of gives us and takes away a huge weight off our shoulders. Look at Joe Flacco right here. Torrey Smith gets that reception and makes two defenders miss. And look at him just showing off with that spin move. And finally, we are on top of the scoreboard. Smash that guitar. Torrey Smith puts us up by seven points. So you know the pressure is now on the 49ers. And Frank Gore, who's been clutching this game, comes out with a huge reception right there. And they are now at about the 49-yard line. 46 to be more accurate. But look at Colin Kaepernick playing aggressive right there. Almost forces a turnover. But here on the screenplay, LaMichael James gets stopped, so they had to punt the ball back to us. So you can tell that they have a lot of trust and uh, a lot of confidence in their defense, the fact that they punted it back to us. So, you know, all we have to do here is get a touchdown or at least a field goal or even kill time off the clock. So here we go. Joe Flacco hands off to Ray Rice. Look at Ray Rice. Quick feet gets by the defenders with his quick cuts. And takes the ball at the 15-yard line. Joe Flacco now throwing a deep pass to Torrey Smith. Look at that accurate ball all over the defenders. Or should I say he threw it on top of the defenders. Perfect pass right on Torrey Smith's hands. So now the Colin Kaepernick drive is on the way. You know they're feeling the pressure like no other right now. What will Colin Kaepernick do? He gets rid of it. His receiver is right there. And with only a timeout left, they're going to have to play no huddle. Colin Kaepernick on third and ten gets rid of it. Receiver is right there. But hold on. There's a flag on the play. And uh, just by the body motion of the offense, you can tell that this is going to be on them. And yes... I believe this one's going to be a legal touching and yes, five yard penalty. So this is gonna force a fourth and 15 and they get stopped. So you know what is next. All I have to do is come out here and do a kneel down and the Super Bowl is now again going to the Baltimore Ravens. Hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay. It's your boy Anto Boss and I am signing out. Hope is going back to Baltimore. Bill, you're one of the few people on the planet who knows what it feels like right now to win the Super Bowl. I, I can't describe that feeling. All I can tell you is that it is awesome. So enjoy the moment.
close out the year in the greatest triumph in all of sports. The Super Bowl belongs to them for Bill Sims and all the crew. Jim Nance saying so long from the Super Bowl. The post-game wrap-up show is next, and we'll see you next year here on EA Sports. If you guys want to stay updated on when all of my videos will be uploaded, make sure you follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash onto the boss.